Hey guys, it's Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Goose Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. Okay, so my new hashtag is keep your ass at home. Seriously. Seriously. You know, I look at some of the states that have been blowing up with this stuff, and other states that are waking, waiting to go ahead and do that, but what I'm seeing is it seems like the ones that have waited until it hit are really blowing up. The ones that kind of already started slowing things down seem to be doing better. Now the biggest problem, because I heard this this morning, my daughter, she's running out of toilet tissue. So we're gonna try and get her some toilet tissue because this literally is the new commodity, you know? So I was talking to my group there, you know, my boy Q and uh, Jet D and uh, PC76, thank you for changing the name, it makes it a little easier. Because then they started thinking, well man, let me check my supply. Because everybody is going out there going crazy. You saw that one lady who went to uh, the dollar store and literally bought, you know, just basically strapping on top of the band and everything else. But here's the thing, slow down. I want you guys to understand that, see, I'm old. I've been through a lot of things that you guys will never understand, like not having the internet. The fact that I'm able to talk to you right now for me is a miracle. But there are things that we can do to minimize the need. You know, everybody's like, I need Clorox wipes. Okay, now, and I so I, you know, I need those wipes. Can't find them in the store, right? Well, here's a solution for you. Or paper towels. I'm running out of paper towels. Now listen, I'm a construction worker, okay? I do, I build literally everything. You know, Joe Boo's day job. Here's one of those things that you can do, which in the long run may be better for the environment as well, because we don't have to cut down as many trees. See, Home Depot. I'm not trying to, I'm not paid by Home Depot or anything like that, but you guys know I spent a lot of money there. If you want to give me a discount, I'll take it. But look, here's the thing. This is what I normally buy. These are painter rags, okay? Painter rags. There's 40 of them in the pack. It's about $12, $13 or so. Ah, because before there were box diapers, there used to be cloth diapers for kids. You had to go through, use those, and wash them and reuse them. So here's what you're going to do. You take these painter's rags. Now, now, these are actually used ones. Check this out. Look at this. These are used in my workshop even. Okay? What you do is you use them, put them in the wash machine on high. Some of you have those fancy wash machines that have steam and everything else. Put a little bit of bleach in it. It's clean as can be. Here's what we used to do in the restaurants as well. Basically, we had a service that would come through and pick up your towels. They'd sterilize them, clean them, and they'd bring them back, and you would use these in the restaurant. And what we would do is we would have like a, you know, like a, a container or a little bucket that had bleach with water in it, and we would wipe down all the counters with these. This way, you don't have to use so many paper towels. Wow! And you don't have to worry about going out to get some. Now, I'm not saying that you're not going to need paper towels, but this is one way you can get your sanitized wipe because it's coming from a bucket with bleach water on it. You're not making any more trash that you have to worry about the trash man to pick up. You've got them right here at home. And in the end, think about what you're spending in paper towels, how much money you'll save. Now, toilet tissue. This one's gonna be a little bit harder of a solution for you um, because of course we all think we need toilet tissue. Um, and I'm thinking about something we did at our house a couple of months back. And if you have any uh, skills, you can do this too to help minimize the amount of toilet tissue you need. Okay, let's go upstairs and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're actually in my bathroom that, you know, I, I rebuilt this when I got this house. It, it was in bad shape. It's a very small bathroom because, you know, we I built the shower pan and everything else, so it's a corner shower in there. And then we did the whole countertop and stuff in here and made it so it's as functional as possible. And of course we have our toilet here. My wife always kept saying, I want a bidet. In Europe, the days are basically, they have a toilet, then they have a bidet, which is right beside it. And what it does is it's got jets of water that basically clean you out. And I'm like, we ain't got room for a bidet in here. So we ended up getting a kit from Home Depot. Shout out to Home Depot. It's not been paid, but you can help a brother out. We ended up getting this kit, um, which is like a bidet sprayer. So it's kind of like a kitchen sprayer, but it's got nozzles on it that keep the water really, really strong. Let me show you what I mean here. So this is it right here. And this is what it does. 
great sprayer. So instead of using all that toilet tissue, you use this. In Europe, they don't use all the toilet paper. They have the bidets that basically... Oh, this is a rough one. That was a real rough one. You know, after the tacos, you can do that. Now, the nice thing about this is that, no, they, they have all kinds, okay? There's some that are better than those. Some of them they have are just like retros where it's the toilet. It goes under the toilet seat. Uh, those are on the cheap side. I don't like those. This one is better because it's stainless steel, and you see how nice the pipe and stuff is on it. And it actually hooks up pretty easy. If you've ever worked on a toilet before, there is where the nozzle goes to the bottom of the tank. It's actually a plastic fitting that you can unscrew with your hands. Make sure you clean your hands afterwards. And it's got a backflow for better, so the water's not going to run out, so it doesn't run backwards. But it's basically a valve. Screw right on here and a screw right onto the tank, and you've got the hose there. Let me actually show you where I'm talking. So here's the whole setup right here. This is the normal supply tube that we took off of here. Here's the valve that comes in here. It has a shut off in the back, and it just screws right onto the tank. Screw the hose on here, and then it has a mount that you can mount onto the wall. You can mount it uh, to drywall. It has plastic anchors and things onto it. Real easy to do. Now this is about, I think it was maybe $69. There are some ones that are plastic instead. I like the stainless steel because we can spray it down with bleach and you can see the streaks and stuff on there. But when you think about what people are spending, when we go to BJ's and we buy one of the big boxes full of toilet tissue, um, it's like $29. Now that does last a couple of months, but you realize that something like this, especially when you have a national emergency, it could save your ass, literally save your ass. So this is some ways of making it through hunkering down. Um, there's going to be hard times and not always you're going to be able to find toilet tissue and rags. So you've got to figure out ways of going back to doing things like before we had all the conveniences that we had. So get yourself, yeah, and, and here's the thing. Try and go out as little as possible right now. You know, it's better to err on the side of caution, but if you assume that everybody has it that's around you, you're going to act differently. And if you act differently like that, we'll get through this quicker. So I'm gonna keep going through. I'm staying busy, I'm working on my house and cleaning up and things like that. I'm taking advantage of this time one, to keep myself busy so I don't worry, but two, to get myself in a better position and better able to handle what may be coming. So keep looking for these tips and these videos and stuff from me. And of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for being here. Be safe and keep your ass at home.